Welcome back, everyone. I am so happy to be here with Stacy Gabriel, who is finally making a comeback to pageantry as Miss Universe Philippines Kainta. How are you, Stacy? I'm very good, Luis. ¿Qué tal? Oh, Latina ka talaga? No. <laughs> <laughs> muy bien. ¿Y tú cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Estoy muy feliz. Oh, my God. Okay, one thing that I am super impressed to find out today is that you actually speak a little bit of Spanish. So tell me about that. Un poquito, un poquito. Hablé español cuando era niña, Ajá. pero no lo he practic practicado, practicado okay. desde hace mucho, mucho tiempo. Mucho tiempo, sí. So, necesito practicar. ¿Practicamos? Sí, tenemos que practicar, especially when you get the title of Miss Universe Philippines, ah. which I know you will. <laughs> We have to practice. Gracias. But I just want to start by saying I'm so proud of you, first of all, I haven't talked to one person in this room today who didn't leave feeling so amazed, impressed, and just so confident about your performance in the upcoming national pageant. Tell me, how does it feel to finally experience, you know, the the welcome and the reception of the people after the official announcement? Overwhelming. <laughs> My heart is overflowing with gratitude. I still have moments of self-doubt. Even though my mind and my heart are resolute in this journey, yeah. and I trust my vision, I can't help being human and having these limiting, limiting beliefs. But today, walking in, I did a short meditation outside. I walked into Miss Diane's smiling face, and the doors opened, and I saw the warmth of your smiles, the warmth of your faces, and I saw how excited you were for me. And, uh, That is such a blessing, you know, because I have been on the sidelines cheering for my sisters, yes. right? Send off after send off. And I have been so grateful to be in that position, yeah. to be the wind beneath their wings. Now it's my time to soar. And I'm grateful that you are the wind in my sails. Yes. I mean, we're all so happy for you, not just because we know that you're going to deliver on the calm skills, the beauty, the performance and the looks and everything, but because you're genuinely one of the most loved queens. Like people just love you for how genuine nice kind-hearted you are so finally see you have your moment your your moment to shine it's it's so fulfilling uh tell me how does it feel knowing that now you get to represent a whole locality like so many people looking after you and expecting you to you know represent them fairly on the national stage it is a responsibility yeah. with, with great <laughs> power comes great responsibility and i'm ready to take this on my Local government has been incredibly supportive and to have their blessing as I carry Kainta Rizal across my heart is all that I need to make sure that, that I will be okay. Because to, to have them rallying behind me and to have them, like I said, be the wind in my sails is such a blessing. So. All I can do now is my very best, and we are working every day in order to chip away at small, small, you know, performance issues. We got to nip those in the bud before the big night. Yes. And I will be working very hard, not just for me, but for everyone who has put their faith in me. Absolutely. One of the things that Tita mentioned earlier is that we cannot talk about your current journey without mentioning Bini Bini Pilipinas. And one of the things that I love to see was your sisters showing up for you today. So we have Nicole Borromeo, Miss Bea Santiago as well. Tell me, have they given you any advice for your upcoming competition? You know, those women are, goodness, they are such queens and they really, truly live, breathe the essence of a queen. And they do such a great job of carrying the Bini Bini legacy. The advice they gave me really is to be myself. I know that sounds... You know, it's like a record scratch. It's like, um, it, it's, it's sort of, uh, it, it plays over and over. In, it's always in the ether, right? Be yourself, be authentic. Yeah. And then you be yourself and then people bash you for it. You know, Good. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know how it That's is, right? <laughs> but you know, you, there's, if you are always authentic to who you are, there will be nothing to apologize for. And they know that I have a foundation of love, of kindness, of generosity. They know that I give from the overflow of my heart. So 
I try my very best. I, I, you know, I'm always walking on eggshells as well. I, I'm, I'm always afraid of saying the wrong thing or offending somebody or, or, or making someone feel bad. And they always tell me, oh, hold on, you're fine. Yeah. You've got a good heart. Yeah. You're going to be just fine. It's my anxiety coming into play, but they tell me, and this is something, by the way, if I can just weave in something that other mentors have told me, is you may not be for everybody, but you are for somebody. Yes. So if not everybody wants your authenticity, if not everybody wants what you have to offer, that's all right. You will find your people, and they will be your tribe, and they will rally behind you. Yes. So I thank my sisters for that lesson. Absolutely. You know, as someone who also suffers from anxiety sometimes, and I get so nervous and stressed out, I find it so inspiring that you are able to take control of your narrative and go for something as big as Miss Universe Philippines, as Binibinin Pilipinas, these huge platforms that maybe at another time, like most people wouldn't been able to conquer that fear. So what is your message to those people out there looking at you who, who want to be one day in your shoes, but maybe don't have the courage just yet, or don't know how to, how to conquer that fear? Yes. Well, you know, nothing worth having comes easy. And, you know, I um, always say, the only way to move forward is to do something that scares you a little bit. And this is definitely scary. It is a giant, right? But that is how I know that I am exactly where I belong. I know it is our tendency to stay within our comfort zones, stay within our security blankets. But for the big dreamers out there, the only way that you can reach for the stars is to slowly chip away at that fear and to do one thing every day that leads you to that dream. So you may be scared now and that's okay, but if you're scared, that's a good sign because it means you're doing something meaningful, you are walking in your calling, and you are fulfilling your purpose. And I am rooting for you. So I hope you're rooting for you too. <laughs> She's ready for the crown, everyone. <laughs> and okay. Luis is ready to slay. <laughs> we are slaying over here. <laughs> Sorry, 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 Luis Portes. <laughs> oh, good. I have um, one last question for you. In my humble opinion, Miss Universe nowadays is more than just, you know, a pageant, more than empowerment. It's also about culture, about heritage. And we got to see that clearly at Miss Universe last edition with Michelle D and how she was able to present the Philippines to the world. Absolutely. If you were to be the next representative for the country, what aspects of the Philippines would you like to highlight during your journey? I come from Rizal, which is a cradle of biodiversity. Yes. So we are incredibly proud of the Masungi Geo Reserve, which is home to thousands of you know, gorgeous flora and fauna, but also, uh, I'm not exactly sure about the number, but, but uh, it's, it's, these incredible endemic species live within Rizal, and we want to protect them, preserve them, and ensure a healthful balance within Masungi and also throughout the Philippines. So that is something that I want to highlight, is just how rich and just how vast the beauty of our country is. Cainta is such a gorgeous place because it marries urban vibrance with the tranquility of nature. So this is the absolute perfect, I just feel like it's the perfect um, uh, characteristic of the Philippines to bring to the forefront, to bring to the universe. Uh, you would never imagine that just an hour and a half from the city is this incredible landscape, lush greenery. So if I were fortunate enough to be Miss Universe Philippines, I want to highlight the biodiversity in our country, which ties into my sustainable swimwear line, which aims to give back to the community, aims to preserve the health of our oceans and our coral reefs. So I'm just so grateful that everything ties in. Everything is weaving in perfectly, and I feel like I'm exactly where I belong. Well, in all cases, I'm super, super, super excited for your upcoming journey. I know that you're going to kill it, slay it, quite literally. <laughs> I'm sorry about no, your speaker, no. <laughs> your microphone. No. I am so excited for you because, as I said, we know that you have a great heart, you have the performance, you have the everything, okay? So we'll be right behind you, supporting you, and just enjoy every single moment of it, okay? Thanks. Everyone, please Thank you, my go kids. support. Oh, my God. Go support. Go show some love. And we shall do a proper sit-down interview to get all the substance. Can I just yeah. say as well, Luis? 
before he even knew me, before we even exchanged words on social media, he was the, one of the number one people that showed their love. Every time Beanie Beanie dropped a headshot, a glam shot, a swimsuit shot, an evening glam <laughs> shot, he was there gassing me up and he didn't even know me, we had never met but he truly believed in my vision and he truly believed that I could represent the Philippines. So I owe that to you. Thank you for sharing That's my your platform with That's me. my girl. That's my girl. I love you so much. Best of luck. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you everyone. Bye now. <laughs>